Hey Cortana. What do you think of Halo? A Microsoft game featuring an AI named Cortana who helps save humanity from extinction? What's not to love? <laughs> Hey guys, what's happening? Attack here from Aerolith Gaming and... What is this? What? What is this? Is this... Halo on PC? Surely not. No! No, that's right ladies and gentlemen. This is Halo on PC. Finally, the day has come. We can enjoy a modern Halo game from the comfort of our own home computer. So, um, what I'm playing right now is formerly known as Halo Online. However, because having only been released in Russia by Bungie, um, sorry, um, this is real-time commentary, it's not like, uh, a recording over the video. Um, so I may be a little bit distracted. Um, right now I'm playing a, how can I say, it's kind of like a hacked version of Halo Online by this uh, team known as uh, El Dorito. They allow anybody to play this game, not just people living in Russia. So that's, um, very nice of them. I thank them for that. Um, oh Let's hold on, they can come in here. Whoop! Whoop! Fuck, fuck! Shit! Shit, shit, shit. I'm not liking this situation. Get in the corner here. Fuck! Come on, man! Fuck. Just gonna escape out of here. Sorry. <laughs> I really get into my first person shooters. Oh shit! I didn't make you go back! Man! Motherfucker. Alright, anyway. Um, yes, so it's a hacked version of Halo Online, um, for everybody who is too impatient to wait for it to be released in other countries. Microsoft haven't actually said whether they're going to release it in other countries, but they haven't said that they're not. I don't see why they would know. Why the hell would they release a game just for Russia? I think they're just using Russia as a, a playtesting ground. Um, but, yeah. So, this is basically what all the Russians are playing right now. Um, my first impressions of it... Not bad. Not bad. Uh, not great, but not bad. I mean, it's nice to be able to finally play a modern Halo game on the PC, so it's got that going for it. But, does it have anything over other mainstream first-person shooters that are available on PC? <sighs> Some of you are going to kill me for this, but not really. Not really. Functionality wise. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm lost for words. Like. Uh, the, the vehicles are cool. <laughs> um. Uh, I don't know, like. It's a Halo game. It fits into the Halo niche. It's it's cool like that. It's, it's a cool game. But. There's other games that are better. Like, I mean, with a, a bit of work and a fair bit of augmentation, Bungie could definitely make this a better game. But, for what it is now, I see it as more like a beta. It lacks a lot of features that you would expect. But, um, I mean, I'm not going to slander it for that. They have got some pretty good features, which, well, I mean, let's talk about that now. First off, uh, the customization. The customization for the armor and weapons, it's fucking amazing. Um, I'm not actually sure if uh, other games in the Halo series, other than Halo 1 and 2, which obviously I've played on PC because I'm a PC gamer, have had these customization features because I haven't had the chance to play them on a console because I don't actually have a console. Um, but, yeah, I've quite enjoyed uh, customising my player's armour, and, um, you can customise the weapons. I haven't actually figured out how to do that yet, but I uh, saw it in the video, and it looks pretty cool. Um, the graphics. Let's talk about the graphics. 
Um, I was expecting a little more from a Halo game, a modern Halo game. But for a free-to-play, I'm quite impressed. You know, you get a lot of free-to-play games these days that they just have lacklustre graphics, you know, just really boring art. It, not only just boring art, it's just lazy art, really. Um, cheap art. Well, it's a free-to-play. They don't really have too much funding, so you can't really, um, you know, pay for... Uh, Quality artists. Oh god. Fuck. I knew that was gonna happen. Um. Yeah, what else can we talk about? Well, I suppose we can talk about the fact that, um, at this point in time, since this, uh, hacked version of Halo Online isn't exactly well-known, I guess you could say. Um, there's not too many servers or, you know, parties, lobbies that you can join. So, I'd say today is a pretty good day to find this many people playing. It's not that often you'll be able to find a full lobby like this. Or, if you do find a full lobby like this, it'll be damn near impossible to get into. You seem to always have problems with uh, version thingies, version thingies, what am I trying to say? Like, you'll try and join a server and, uh, it'll say, oh, you have the wrong version, ra da 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 So, uh, yeah, whoop. Please, um, holy fuck, he didn't actually move. What a dumbass. Anyway, um, hmm. Sorry for the lack of commentary, guys. I often get immersed in the game and actually forget to talk. Really bad habit of mine. Hello. Let's see what we can do. Fuck. Nope. Okay. I'm fucking useless. <laughs> yeah, I've never really been great at the Halo games. I'm um, more of a um, battlefield style of FPS. Player. But I mean, it doesn't mean I can't enjoy the game, right? <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, anyway guys, um, I'm not really sure what more to talk about with this, um, with this video about this game, but what I will do is link you to a download of this game in the description so you can go and check it out for yourselves. And um, let me know what you think of it in the uh, comments section below. And um, yeah, I'll just chuck in some more gameplay footage for you to enjoy now.
So thanks for watching guys, um, don't forget to share this video with your friends, give it a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see some more content from me, and I'll see you all next time, over and out.